Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another setup video. And in the living room, as you guys know, I'm pretty crazy about 4K projectors. I've got a 4K laser short throw myself over here. I love having a bigger image. I always think bigger is better. And I made a video not too long ago showcasing one of my latest setups. It was a 4K short throw. It was around 6,000 bucks, 120 inches, but you guys still said it was too much money. It was around 6,000 bucks. And if there's any other budget friendly options for people that wanna get into the home cinema game, a projector over 100 inches isn't something crappy like most things are on Amazon. I think I might've found the solution. This guy's from LG again. It's the HU70LA. It's only 17. $99, so we're getting way under that $2,000 price range, 140 inch setup, and it's a portable 4K projector. And that main wall behind me there, that's 100 inches, and I still think we can go bigger. If there's blank space on the wall, I gotta fill it up. And that thing cost me close to $10,000. That's several years old now. We're getting into the territory where we can get underneath that $2,000 price range, but still get 4K quality. There are a couple compromises you need to live with when you don't go for say an ultra short throw projector. This guy just has to live behind your setup. So behind the couch, you'll need to have a media console. That's where I've got mine living. Or you can have it traditionally mounted coming down from the ceiling if you wanna have that full cinema experience and you don't have to worry about blocking the projector when you're sitting on your couch. Inputs to this guy are pretty standard across the board. You've got two HDMI ports. I've got one running to my Xbox One S, an addition of a USB-C port, two USB-A ports, and it also has some audio inputs. And I think this is where this projector falls a tad bit short, but on the flip side, you can always connect via Bluetooth to any essentially device, even say a Bluetooth speaker. I've got the PK7, keeping things in family within LG. You can even check out my budget soundbar for my holiday gift guide, or even my higher end LG soundbar, which usually lives in my bedroom. You can connect via optical digital, but just because of the positioning of this projector, I would usually connect via Bluetooth. I've chosen to go for a bit more of a mobile setup as I'm not sure if I wanna have it living in my living room, if I wanna bring this to my studio next door or that fabled new new, new new studio 2020, it's coming if I wanna bring this guy over that way. And the setup process is pretty simple. It's pretty much plug and play. And I think the hardest part is trying to find a large enough wall. Like I mentioned, you can get up to 140 inches of 4K juiciness running. It's got WebOS 4.5, thin QAI, so I can watch myself, say on YouTube. I can watch any Netflix or Hulu content. To actual performance, it's built around four channel LED tech. So it has RGB plus dynamic green. And that's different from the tech found in traditional projectors that usually use a color wheel to reflect colors from one color light which in turn gives more color expression and accuracy and virtually no color loss, which I usually find is the limiting factor of projectors. So that's definitely dope. And it not only lasts 30,000 hours, but compared to most traditional projectors, which lose that initial brightness that you get out of the box, it'll keep its original brightness over its lifetime. Even though it gets up to 1500 lumens on a super bright day like today, I would definitely recommend having blinds, but most people in their home theater setup, they watch their content at night. Just like in a cinema, things are usually pitch black and this is where this guy literally kind of shines. I would definitely recommend having a blacked out room when you are setting this thing up. You don't lose any of the sharpness in corners like I've seen in previous projectors. Content experience is great. Obviously you're not getting the same dynamic range or black levels as say LG's OLED line. That's not what this thing is trying to do. You're getting 140 inches compared to, I think their largest OLED goes maybe 88, maybe even 90, but those TVs I think cost around $10,000. You're looking at a setup under 1700 bucks. I think that's a really good steal. For those of you that are still on the fence, just be mindful of when you're setting this guy up. So whether you have it living behind your couch or even in front of it, you'll do a lot of tinkering to get that maximized image space. And of course it really depends how large your wall is. I love the fact that it's a portable setup and I actually can't wait for all of this snow to melt. I'll bring this guy out onto my balcony and have movie nights in the summer. 
We've now gone through the spectrum of 4K 100 inch plus projector setups. That's a tongue twister. We've had the budget, mid tier, and of course, baller editions. Let me know what your fave is and I'll try to get LG to hook you guys up with one of these very own projectors. So just be sure to sub, of course, leave a comment down below on your fave feature. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the content through 2019 and I'm sure we'll see a ton more goodies come in 2020, especially at CES, which is a month away. Catch you guys in one of those next vids. Peace.